In May 2010, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats formed a coalition government. In a bid to end the country's economic problems, David Cameron, the Conservative Party leader, proposed to cut public sector funding and raise university tuition fees from £3,000 to somewhere between £5,000 and £7,000 per year. Transport combined. Because the legacy we've been left is so bad, the measures that we need to deal with it will be unavoidably tough. But people's lives, and this is vital, people's lives will be worse unless we do something now. The cause of building a fairer society will be set back for years unless we do something now. We are not alone in this. Many countries around the world have been living beyond... In November 2010, do, David Cameron announced fees would be raised to £9,000 per year. Shortly after, many outraged students took to the streets to protest. Many of these students voted Lib Dem after their leader Nick Clegg promised to abolish tuition fees. On the 29th of January 2011, after a series of protests, people took to the streets again in a last desperate bid to save public cuts and not rise university tuition fees. The protest went late into the evening, where it ended in the West End. I'm here to view the student protest behind me, the London Students' Union protest uh, over the tuition fee cuts. Um, I'm not really affiliated with either side of the argument. I, I, if, if I had to choose a side, I'm probably more pro-cuts than I am anti-cuts, um, just for the fact that I, I believe we're going through an extremely tough, tough time with, with, all, with all our finances and that cuts in certain areas will, will result in it increases in other areas. To be honest, I think there's, there's not really much hope for us going to university anymore, really, because we're at the we're at that time when um, our university just become unpayable. We we can't we can't get it. We can't we can't go to university because we can't afford it. That's going to mess us up so much. During 1990, similar scenes were broadcast showing the poll tax riots. This also happened during a Tory government. Margaret Thatcher was in power at the time. Shortly after the poll tax was announced, many of the working class took to the streets in protest. Thatcher resigned soon after. The following government abolished the poll tax. Police vehicles, trapped by the mob, were attacked with bricks, bottles and iron bars. Other protests that had strong student involvement include the Vietnam War protests in America during the 1960s and 1970s. During the Kent State University protests in 1970, four students were killed and nine seriously injured as the Ohio National Guard opened fire on the crowd. I am against the rise in tuition fees. Um, well, I'm for or against it. I mean, if they really need to balance the deficit, fair enough. But, I mean, they're cutting a bunch of public sector jobs um, and raising tuition fees. So it's like, if, if, you're gonna, if, if everything's tight and you really need to do that, then do it across the board. Why not tax religion, you know, and, well, tax major businesses properly and just other things like that. Why only pick on the students, basically? I mean, nobody actually wants to pay more. Um, so, you know, plus I think they, they really failed to, to, I don't know, describe what the rising tuition fees actually meant. I mean, how much of it is still going to be, con like, covered by the student loan company and, you know, just things like that. So, they've, they've sort of been unclear, but no, I, I don't think they should rise it. If they are going to raise it, then do it across the board to everything else, really. I'm, I'm definitely against it. I mean, I understand that it needs to... The, the deficit needs to be balanced, as Amilka said, but 
I don't feel that we should be paying for it. I think that it's, I think it's, it's the rise in tuition fees is definitely not a good thing. Um, I don't think they should, actually I think it should be for free really, I mean, uh, especially just the whole education thing is messed up, but the whole thing needs to be reformed. Uh, we're wasting a lot of money in education anyway, I mean, interactive boards, like, th did you ever see the interactive boards? Yeah, we had some interactive whiteboards. Fucking useless. Well, no. Waste they, of money. Waste of money. Ah, uh, waste of money, yeah, but they're not useless. Like, okay, okay, not useless, We, we but played little games on them in French. Fair I enough. I think that's £8,000 very badly spent. Alright, but there are things now where you can, like, you can get 8% of the functionality of a, of a whiteboard for like 1% of, of, the, of the cost. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why are they spending money on whiteboards? It's ridiculous. But no, like... <laughs> one school got them, and all the parents were like, oh, that's lovely. And all the other schools were like, yeah, let's get them. Right. Now all the schools have them. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, that's that's paraphrased. Yeah. That's not exactly what happened, I don't yeah. think. Might be. Um, my sister is very happy about the rise. Because even though she'll be paying three times as much for me, for, for me, even though she'll be paying three times as much as me, yeah. when she goes to uni, I'm going to have to start paying off at 15 grand a year, which I hope I will start earning at some point. Yeah. Well, whereas my sister will have to pay it back when she has 21 or more thousand pound a year. And she hopes that she won't ever earn that much, so she won't have to pay it back. When the politicians hear about a protest, they think, oh god, is this going to get violent? Are police going to get hurt? Are protesters going to get hurt? Are people... They're, they're worried all about their image, because yeah. if, for example, if a disabled kid gets ripped out of his wheelchair by the police, the system doesn't look good. Whereas yeah. if police get hurt, bad for the system, I mean, I don't, they don't want police to get hurt, yeah. but then the media grabs hold of, look how horrible these protesters are. And so that's more of a positive for the politicians. Right, yeah. So if a protest goes down and the government are really worried what's going to happen, they don't know, and then it's all peaceful, even if there's bands and fireworks and something really out of the ordinary and it makes like worldwide news, look at this amazingly different protest, the politicians, after it's over, will go, great, no violence. It hasn't affected their lives as such, has it, has so they'll, they'll forget about enough. it. Yeah. yeah. It's a country, we need council workers, we need uh, uh, nurses, we need teacher assistants, everybody whose job is being threat threatened, everybody whose, uh, whose services are being threatened to get out onto the streets. We've seen the power of ordinary people in Tunisia. Um, we can have the same, that's what we, what's, what we, um, what we also need in Britain. Roughly 50,000 people attended the student protests in London so far. There is no sign the government will change plans to raise the tuition fees. Only time will tell how significantly this will affect the future of generations to come.